In this video, we will be proving the formula for the area of a trapezoid. If we have a trapezoid with bases b1 and b2 and height h, its area can be calculated using the following formula, 1 half times b1 plus b2 times h. So let's get to proving this formula. Let's begin the proof by breaking up our trapezoid into three different shapes. Our three different shapes are these two right triangles, as well as the central rectangle. Let's call the area of this rectangle A1, the area of this triangle A2, and the area of this triangle A3. And now, the area of a trapezoid can be rewritten as A1 plus A2 plus A3. Now before we get into determining what each of these areas actually is, let's assign a variable to the bases of each of our triangles. Let's call the base of our triangle with area A2, x, and the base of our other triangle, y. I've drawn out our three different shapes. Now let's get to determining what A1, A2, and A3 actually are. A1 is the area of a rectangle, so it'll be equal to base times height, or in this case, B1 times h. A2 and A3 are both right triangles and the area of a right triangle is one-half base times height. And so A2 will be one-half times x times h, and A3 will be one-half times y times h. So now we can return to the formula on our left. AT will be equal to A1, which is B1 h, plus A2, which is x times h over 2 plus a3, which is y times h over 2. We can rewrite this as b1h plus x plus y times h over 2, where I've just factored out the common h over 2 in these last two terms. Now the one term that's really interesting right now is this x plus y term. If we look back at the formula that we're trying to derive, the formula that we're trying to get to, you'll notice that it's in terms of b1, b2, and h. And this means we have to find some way to get rid of this x plus y. And the formula we need here is b1 plus x plus y equals b2. And this is true because b1 is our top base, and if you attach these add-ons x and y to b1, you'll get the bottom base, which is b2. Now if we subtract b1 from both sides, we get an equation for x plus y, which is x plus y equals b2 minus b1. Now we can plug this back in into our formula for at. So at is equal to b1h plus b2 minus b1 times h plus 2 where I've just substituted in b2 minus b1 for x plus y. Let's multiply this first term by the fraction 2 over 2. We would get 2b1 times h over 2 plus b2 minus b1 times h over 2. Now we can factor out the h over 2 from both terms. And then on the inside, we would have 2b1 plus b2 minus b1. And now if we do some rearranging and simplification, this becomes 1 half b1 plus b2 times h. And so here you have one way to prove the formula for the area of a trapezoid. 